In this video, I'm going to be using the custom support tool in Simplify 3D to show you how you can get better results from your 3D prints. Uh, to do this, I've printed an example here without any supports at all, and I'm going to show you in the software how to add and remove supports from the default ones, uh, just to tailor it to the, that specific print. So we'll see how that turns out. So this just gives you a closer look at the model I've printed with no support material at all. As you can see, it's a bit rough around the edges. Um, it has printed, but not brilliantly. And now if we go over to Simplify 3D, um, we can go into Tools and Custom Support Structure, and this will bring up the Support Generation window. So the first thing we'll do is generate automatic supports, uh, just to see what Simplify 3D thinks we should use. Uh, most of these look pretty good. As you can see, I chose a three millimeter pillar resolution. Um, I'm just going to delete some of these pillars here by selecting remove existing supports and then if you just click on the ones that you want to get rid of uh, they'll be deleted and then I think it's going to need a few supports uh, in these areas here so I'm selecting add new support structures and this will add supports um, with my selected uh, support pillar resolution. Um, so I'm just going to change this now and make it slightly smaller just to show you just on these edges of the wings there um, and you can also make it much larger as well like this um, but I'll delete that for now. So next I'm just going to look um, from above to see how everything's looking see if I've missed any pillars um, and these ones don't match up so I'll just delete those uh, but otherwise looking good and I think we'll give that a go. So here's the finished print with the support still attached. Um, some of them actually came off really easily uh, just while I was removing it from the plate. But the rest come off with my hands. So now if we take a look at the two prints together, uh, as you can see the one on the right is the new print with custom supports and the one on the left is the one I did without any supports. That's quite a big difference. Um, the quality is obviously much better on the print with supports. But being able to customise the supports has enabled us to put supports in different areas to the uh, default. So we've managed to get the neck looking quite a bit better than I think it would have without any, as well as the tips of the wings. I hope you found this video useful. But if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos that we could do, please leave your comments in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.